Christine Flack, who is the mother of late Love Island presenter and Strictly Come Dancing winner Caroline Flack, has criticized ITV over its handling of the departure of presenter Philip Schofield. Philip, 61, exited this morning following reports of a rift with his former co-presenter Holly Willoughby, 42. The ITV star has since confessed to having a relationship with a much younger male colleague while married to his wife Stephanie Lowe. Following the dramatic fallout as the story continues to develop, Christine has argued that ITV has failed to learn lessons from the tragic death of her daughter, which shook the nation. She told BBC Newsnight how presenters are not always protected, despite their huge star power. Following his admission to the affair, Philip released a lengthy statement where he apologized to all those he had lied to and has since said he has lost everything. Meanwhile, ITV released a statement saying that had been badly let down by the star, who had been with them for over 20 years. Meanwhile, Christine slammed the broadcaster, accusing them of treating employees as commodities that are sometimes sidelined, not protected. She added she believes ITV haven't learned anything since the death of her daughter. Don't miss. Holly Willoughby's saddened by downtrodden Philip Schofield after scandal, latest Dan Walker fears this morning acts as people are on edge over Schofield scandal, news Philip Schofield's turmoil as Hess stopped eating after a fair news, insight, Caroline died by suicide at the age of 40 back in February, 2020, prompting fans and mourners all over the country to start using the hashtag hashtag be kind. Her death came shortly after she stood down from her role hosting Love Island in December 2019, following an incident involving her boyfriend Louis Burton, where she was charged with assault by beating. In a tell-all interview with Amol Rajan, Philip said of his current situation, I think I understand how Caroline Flack felt. Christine seemed to question ITV's aftercare, saying, they could have someone speaking for him, really, whether he did right or wrong. It's not a good look really. She also told the BBC's Victoria Derbyshire, if my employer didn't take care of me, there'd be all hell to pay. And Terry Snot. She added that Philip and his former lover were going through an awful time and urged people to let the situation settle after the star had lost his job and his world. Express.co.uk has contacted ITV for comment. ITV, who has already ordered an external review into its handling of Philip's affair with a colleague, has released a statement, which reads, The relationships we have with those we work with are based on trust. Philip made assurances to us and his agency which he now acknowledges were untrue and we feel badly let down. As a producer and broadcaster, ITV takes its responsibilities around duty of care seriously and has robust and well-established processes in place to support the mental and physical health of employees and all those we work with.